Hello, this is Robert Daly with Daily Woodworks, and this is 5-Minute Tool Reviews, where I review a tool that I bought with my own money in 5 minutes or less. Today I'm reviewing my Jim Red uh, Digital Angle Finder that I use for my table saw and sometimes my miter saw. Um, if you want to up your game as a woodworker and be a better woodworker, this is one of those tools that is worth every penny of that investment. I think this was about $30 on Amazon and there is an affiliate link in the description below. So please support what I'm doing here by clicking that link and buying one of these for yourself. Um, cause this show will never be sponsored and it's tools that I actually buy with my own money, um, that I pick out and then review here and tell you if they're good or not. Okay, how this guy works is dead simple. First thing you want to do is unplug your table saw or put in the safety cutoff switch or whatever it is. Mine has a little pin you put in there that makes it impossible to turn on. Uh, this guy uses, what is it, AAA battery, and I think it came with one. I don't remember ever replacing it. Yeah, it's still using the battery that it came with. Um, I had this guy probably about a year. What you do is you stick it on. Um, always best to get away from your throat plate. That way, if it's a little bit higher or lower, you're not throwing off anything and you turn it on as you see right now it's measuring 89.7 um, you can click the on off again and that resets it to quote unquote level and you'll see my table saw is 0.7 degrees out of level according to this um, nothing in my shop floor is straight um, I have a big crack that runs through the middle of the foundation so I gave up a long time ago of actually trying to get stuff level in my shop then you reset it so we're reading 0, 0.0, and now, because it's magnetic, you can just stick it to the side of your blade, and you can see that um, one thing I do love about my Grizzly table saw is that it is deadly accurate. That's how you can calibrate it. Where this really comes in handy is doing bevel cuts. So you go over here to your bevel wheel, and say you need to get, um, a 22 and a half degree angle. Um, I reset it right here, so it will read at zero, and then you can easily dial this in, and you can hear I need to, need to lubricate this guy a little bit. And too far. So say you're gonna do a compound uh, 45 degree angle, and you're gonna cut two 22 and a half degrees. You dial that in, lock down your table saw, and you're good to go. The reason you wanna do this over um, using your gauge on your actual table saw is right now, mine is reading over 30 degrees on my little gauge because it's very easily knocked off and most of them aren't that accurate, especially on your job site table saws. Um, my flat can't trust it and I always use this on my job site saw to get it dialed in. So I believe I learned this trick from the Stumpy Nubs channel. So obviously if your table saw is calibrated correctly, your miter slot runs parallel to your fence. Um, this grizzly saw has been dialed in and stayed dialed in um, since I got it and every time I check it. So instead of trying to just square it up with a big framing square, you can set it on something flat and that's one reason it's great is you can always reset that zero. You set it on something flat and we'll come over here And you can see right now it's reading at 90 degrees. So if I wanna cut a perfect 90 degree angle or a 22 and a half or anything in between, I'm reading at 90 degrees right there. And you can see I'm reading at uh, 0.1 degree. Um, one thing that I have found with this is it always wants to skip over 90 or skip over that 45 and show either a 0.1 or a 10th of the degree off and that is within the margin of error of this tool. And so you can see I loosen that up and you can just snug it up where a good little love tap will get it. One. And now I am at a perfect 90 degree cut. And that is a super easy, accurate way to do that, especially if you're doing picture frames or shadow boxes or something like that. You can get deadly accurate cuts with this. Um, and because that's magnetic, it's a great thing to use. Obviously your job site table saw is gonna have an aluminum top, but then gravity just holds it in place for you and your blade will always be made out of a magnetic material. Um, you can also check jigs, other fixtures with this. Um, great tool to have. Um, I won't be without one 
um, ever again. So if this guy broke, I'd order another one. Um, same brand would be fine or a different brand would be sufficient. So thanks for watching this episode of 5-Minute Tool Reviews, and we will see you next week.